contest that goes on for as long as you like, but still can't make any difference. For even though Hammond wins the toss again, even if Australia were to miss every catch, even if Edrich and Hutton were to knock up a million, the match score would still be level and Australia as the holders would keep the ashes. It's the youngest pair that has ever opened an innings for England, but not the toughest. For a 29, young Edrich misjudges a fizzer from O'Reilly and is out LBW. 29 for one. So Maurice Leyland joins Hutton and it's Yorkshire against the might of Australia. And what a partnership. The runs move up like an army on the march. 100, 150, 200. And at 206, Hutton gets his century. At 241, Leyland swings a four past mid-off and joins the Centurions too. After that, the weather suddenly remembers it's August. But as the evening sun brings out the long shadows, Hutton and Leyland continue their victory march. An epic that will surely write a new page in test history. 250, 300 and never a chance. At last Australia becomes so downhearted, they put on Sydney Barnes to bowl medium right-hand ordinary maybe just to pass the time. And at the end of the first day, it's 347 for one. It looks as if Yorkshire will want their Christmas pudding sent out to the wicket. <laughs> 